there's a lot of value in getting a little better understanding about each of you because th that's how we're gonna figure out how to help. What we wanna know is your name, where you're from, what your dog is, age, breed, and what your intentions are with the dog. So we, to me, there's a lot of value in getting a little better understanding about each of you because th that's how we're gonna figure out how to help. The, the, the most, I think. So, Helena, let's have you start. Okay. My name is Helena. I'm from New York. Um, we, have, or we have six dogs total. Um, today I brought uh, Baron, uh, uh, Italian Spinoni, and um, I would like to get him just to. Uh, bond better with me. He's a very panicky dog. He's a big dog. He's a big dog, yeah. So he intimidates me. His size sure. intimidates me. His mindset, because our girls don't have that mindset. Um, and I don't know how to work with him. Herb, I'll let you introduce yourself. Same questions. Herb McDowell, we're from a small town. Uh, because when I buddy say New York, we think of a city. Sure. Uh, maybe 3,000 people in the town. We live in the country, but the nearest town is maybe 3,000 people. Um, we, I wanted to bring Max because I actually bought the dog for my grandson. Years ago, I met a guy that actually had a, a labs that hunted human bones. Mm -hmm. He worked a lot with the police and, he, and different groups. Uh, they would call him in. Uh, and the dogs are just absolutely phenomenal. So I'm about ready to retire, and I'm thinking I would like to, to work with him, maybe on something, that maybe it's just sure. antlers, whatever, but something in that. Scent work stuff. Yeah, that type stuff. Uh, it's good for me, it's good for him, and uh, the latter part of it is when my, when my dad passed 10, 12 years ago. He had a, a, I had a yellow lab years ago, it was a phenomenal dog, but he had uh, chocolate labs. And that dog was by his side right up to the end. Um, and I just can't forget that. Sure, sure. So, well, I'm glad. Or, that's what really what I want to get out of is to have good, uh, good quality time with, yeah. with the dog. I'm going to jump to Bobby and Andy. Um, Andy and I live in Denver, Colorado, between Denver and Boulder. And we have a little black lab, a year old, just turned a couple weeks ago little female and I got interested in attending because I've been watching Jeremy from the Bella and the Cali series and the YouTube and just really appreciate how he problem solves and reads the dog and just would like to get better at reading the dog um, dog behaviors and things like that we we do upland and waterfall and, and I'll do it every day if I could but the season's only so long so having a great family dog and yesterday I took her paddle boarding and we take her backpacking and things like that. So sure. It's all around. Perfect. We'll jump back to the Zytel clan. Uh, I'm Keith. Uh, it's my wife Carrie. Uh, the youngest over here is Louie and we have middle Daphne and the oldest Lily. Um, we live right down the road a couple miles. Um, we are bringing our four month old English setter female um, by the name of Dylan. We're looking forward to doing things right by the dog from the get-go. Sure. And having a dog that is uh, a joy to have in the house for the duration of its life. Another f familiar face for me, Brian. Um, Brian Urban, from about a mile south of here. Um, I'm probably in the same boat that they're in. I've got three kids, and uh, consistency is tough with everything going on as far as sports and everything else. We got kids running all that's why they're not here. <laughs> um, soccer tournaments, baseball tournaments, whatever. Um, that's why part of the reason I'm here is obedient at the soccer fields, baseball diamonds, and of course duck, I duck hunt quite a bit. So yep. I've been working with Jeremy on and off to try to get Finley, my dog, into 
the duck blind and ready to go. So my name is Megan Koontz. Megan and Liz. Okay. And Liz Turner from Buchanan, Michigan, just above Indiana. So it's okay. Right on the lake. Sure. And um, we actually we got a golden retriever. We had one. She passed, and we were kind of on the thing of where we're going to get another one. Well, we're not. And we ended up getting one. She is 16 months old. Um, we started her on some birds, upland birds. Um, we'd love to track, we do hunting, we hunt whatever, in anything we can. Sure. We do a lot of deer hunting, so yep. shed hunting, she, she'll pick up the sheds, she'll find them, but she's not really you know, good on retrieving them sure. yet, but um, she needs a lot of retrieve. Yep. She's, she's not ball crazy at all. Yeah, she's, I mean, she's not really ball driven. Okay. You know, um, but she's doing really good. She, we've got her started, but that's about it. And uh, I'm, we, we do everything else with her, take her camping, take her everywhere we go. Sure. Yeah, she any, is any, anywhere we go that dog goes. Hi, I'm recently retired. I'm probably the only one here that doesn't have a dog. I'm a dog trainer. Um, last five years of uh, positive training, clicker training, that type. And I worked in Milwaukee with the Humane Society down there. And, but I'm looking to branch out. I'm always looking to learn different ways to, at the end of the day, teach the dog in a manner that's um, both good for the dog and good for the person and gets, gets you both to that place. Sure. That's, Yep, let's keep moving. Melissa. Hey, <clears throat> my name is Melissa Wolchek. I live somewhat close by, less than an hour away outside Sturgeon Bay. Um, my dog is a male black lab named Murphy. He is, he'll turn one at the end of the month. I have never had a puppy, you know, had him a puppy before, a dog from a puppy. So I have no clue what I'm doing. Um, and uh, so I need a little. But he's a year. Yes, and okay. I, and to be honest, I was extremely nervous coming here because sure. we live out in the country, a lot of acreage, and we don't really see people or other dogs. Um, so I was expecting the worst <laughs> when um, we uh, were here with all the distractions. Yeah. Um, he's been doing fairly well. Um, I thought he did great. Yeah. I never would have guessed that. Yeah, if so. he hears him barking, it's him barking okay. <laughs> when he sees other dogs and people. That's the little black dog. I wasn't yeah. lying. There was a little black dog that was up there. but. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so something that we're really struggling with right now is him holding uh, the, we call it climb, but it's place yep. in the house uh, without breaking, you know, when kids yep. are yep. screaming yep. and making. Steadiness. We, we have a whole, we talked about steadiness too. We have a whole breakout session on steadiness. We'll yeah. talk about it. So. Yeah, that's something that I definitely need. Okay. Um, and uh, I just want him to have a job. But I would love for him to do something like shed hunting, you know, while we're out taking a walk through the woods. Sure. Or trapping or just something. Sure. You know, some kind of job. Okay. Good. I'm going to move to Nick. Uh, Nick Reitz from Neshkoro, um, about two hours south of here. Um, I brought Bella. She's going to be seven months here. Um, about the middle of the month here, she'll turn seven months. Um, been watching a lot of Jeremy's videos, um, a lot of them. Hey, YouTube or where do you guys where do you? YouTube. And then okay. I bought the, the training videos. And I talked to Ben actually I lost them. They, okay. They got deleted on my phone. But sure. anyway, um, just looking to gain more knowledge and and make her a better dog. Um, what kind of dog is it? The yellow lab. Okay. Um, Bella is her name. Oh yeah. A small little one. Yep, yep. She's tiny. Her mom was only sixty three pounds. And I I'm a big bow hunter. I love to hunt. Um, so shed hunting is my thing. I love the shed hunting sure. spring. Let's move back. Uh, I'm Bill Pieper. Uh, I live in Como, Wisconsin, which is three hours south where I divide. Um, I'm a mechanic by trade, but uh, last 12 years I've been a fleet manager. Um, I have two dogs, uh, both three home dogs. Um, my oldest dog is a nine-year-old English pointer uh, mixed with a blue healer, or a blue, blue tick. And uh, I basically train that dog to, to hunt upland. 
Um, and then last August, I got uh, my latest dog, which is a six-year-old German Shorthair, and I'm in the process of hopefully doing it right this time. Sure. Um, I, I, uh, I always disagree with people that say that older dogs can't be trained. Um, I've done it with my first one, but I don't know if I've done it right. Sure. So Good. Right this time. And this one's six years old? Six years old. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Let's slide over. Um, I'm Sam Linsmeyer. I also live in Coma. I have a 14-month um, um, Luol and Setter. His name is King. Um, I'm here to want a, want a dog that's good in the house, good in the field. We can uh, listen to me. And sure. So this is your, that dog is your dog? Yeah. Okay. Now you have setters too? Yes. Okay. Okay. Perfect. I'm Mike Linsmer. I'm Sam's dad. Um, I am a construction manager. I, um, I have a, um, like an eight year old English setter. I do have a three year old Llewellyn setter. And then, uh, recently we added a, um, Cocker Spaniel to our mix. Okay. Um, the, the two older dogs I have um, were trained as a good enough hunting dog, but not necessarily a great family dog. Um, and then with Sam, we wanted to make sure that he gets what he wants out of his dogs. And really, we would rather have all of them become more of a family dog. Sure. Bob. Um, Bob, I'm from uh, Coleman, which is like 45 miles north of Green Bay. Um, I got a year and a half old. Black Lab, tiny little thing. Um, want her to be a shed hunting dog. I spend a lot of time in the spring with that. Um, she's also our house dog, and I got three kids, 12, 10, and almost eight. And I'd like to get just more control out of her, like when we go for walks. Mark and Carrie, we're, we're from Wheatland, Wyoming. Uh, and Carrie was here a couple weeks ago with our dog, Boone. Year was 15 months, 15 months, 14 months, and uh, he's, he's a good dog, he's a bit determined. Big dog, you might say. Nice big and, dog, and uh, uh, Kiri has a little trouble keeping him somewhat under control sometimes. He gets away with pulling on her. We like your philosophy. Uh, what you handle your dogs, you approach it very much with a very good friend of ours, the incredible horseman. Same, same philosophy. Sure. Tina. I'm Tina Tunin, and I'm from Green Bay, Wisconsin. My dog is Riviera. We call her River for short, and her. Collar is just a regular snap on collar. Flat collar. She had a flat on. Flat collar. Open yep. for suggestions because she's pulling on me. Sure, sure. And um, just here to build more confidence in myself with her because she knows a lot more than I do. Sure. And at home, you've got, it's you, your husband, right? Yep. And do you guys have kids? They're grown. Okay. And aspirations, what do you, what do you, what are you, what are you here for? Well, I'm actually, I signed up for the class so I could have some confidence for Mitt Leba, German Shepherd Dog Rescue that I'm working with. Sure. And then I just thought I'd, I'll bring River because it's a bonding thing. Totally. That's what I read. So. Sure. Dan. Hi, Dan Laskowski. Uh, I'm about six miles from here. Uh, I have a 15 nickel German short hair pointer. Uh, this is only the third time that uh, he's actually been on the leash and twice to the vet, and this is the, sure. <laughs> the so Real green. He stays in the yard. I mean, I, when I say come, he comes. I just never had to, sure. thankfully, yep. at this point. But uh, I don't know where he'll progress to if he'll get more carried away. So he's not used to it at all. Yeah, and I doubt he's been with 16 other dogs yeah. in a new area. And dogs, yeah. And yeah. What's what do you do? For, what's the dog's name? Jack. Jack. 15 month old Jack. I want to train him to uh, retrieve deer because I'm colorblind. Okay, so sure. My big push. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's another part that I liked. I met you at uh, one of your shows, at, at a show, and you you were there with your dogs. Okay. 
And when I walked up there, you had your two dogs. I think you said one was a younger pup and, and the other one was, was the mom. But I mean, they didn't leave these two pillows that you had about. Sure. So, Kevin? Kevin, not so local. No. My uh, brother-in-law, Keith, we drove him from Texas, so he's my riding partner. And I have a black lab male. He'll be, a, he'll be one year old uh, on Sunday. His name's Cutter. Uh, I purchased, purchased him in March from a kennel in Missouri, so he's a he's trained shed dog. Okay. And uh, trained an obedience pretty much as well, but he's very hard-headed and stubborn at times. Um, I know it's a lot of puppy in him, but I felt that he should have been further along than what he is, and I had started watching a lot of your YouTube videos, and I listen to your podcasts all the time, and so I thought, I don't have anything else to do. I'm retired police chief, recently retired police chief. So I think we're just going to hit the road and come up here. And awesome. Noah. So my name is Noah Hines from Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, as far as work, I remodel homes and custom woodworking. Um, I asked one of the guys I worked with the other day what our job description is, and he just started laughing. So we, we do a little bit of everything <laughs> as far as uh, construction work. Uh, I have a 13-month-old 13, 13 uh, Blue Lacey named Davis. I guess just uh, he's he's uh, he's kind of stubborn and real independent, I guess, and so just kind of looking to to mind a little more. Um, what are you gonna do with him from a end game? Tracking, okay. and then um, I think I think I'll go to shed hunt with him. Sure. Um, I don't think they're really. Sure Does he have much retrieve in him? He's he's got quite a bit. I've worked with him since. He likes it. Beginning, he likes okay. you know run after it. it's all just been real basic. He, yeah, he'll go pick it up. I mean, he loves picking stuff up, but then he'll usually get sidetracked and go smell something and then I'll yeah. coax him back. I know what Sounds that familiar. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, we're gonna ask that one tomorrow. <laughs> so, okay, perfect. My name's Lee. This is my wife Gina. My son Sam. Uh, our other son Ben is at work. Um, we have a four-month-old golden retriever named Coda. Um, we're here basically want a nice, well-behaved dog. Um, Sam's main thing is duck hunting. Okay. So he's been kind of working with her a little bit. We definitely need some help on a lead. Okay. Um, she pulls. Yeah. She's, a little, she's got a little look to her. She's got a little bit of a mind of her own. Yeah. I think. When people come to these workshops, it's a micro example of like a macro problem. We get very good with uh, in our little bubbles. We all have our own little bubbles with our dogs and we get real good at it. And then the wheels come off when we expose them and put them into new environments. This is a completely new environment. Every one of you are gonna say, they never do this at home. Of course they don't because they're not home and they're, not with, they're with other dogs and they're with new stuff. And the environment is such an important part of their way they learn. So, um, one of the biggest issues that I think some people have is the lack of a like-minded training group. It doesn't need to be 16 dogs. It could be two. But having another person throw dummies for you and your dog pick it up, and then you throw them for them and let their dog pick it up, you know, that scenario just benefited the person who's sending the dog for the retrieve, right? Because they don't have to throw the dummy. They've got a thrower. It also benefited the person that threw it because their dog watched it and didn't go pick it up. Patience and steadiness, it's denials. So like, instead of looking at, we, we need to really, and we're gonna talk about it in a little more depth next, so I won't get into it, but we gotta look at ways of maximizing opportunities for the dogs to learn. It's ongoing all the time if you set it up that way.